Hey guys, Cool Sam here. What's up? Finally making the second episode of Fishing School. For this episode, I'm gonna show you the one knot you need to know to fish. I'm not saying it's the best knot, the strongest knot, but I would say it's the one knot that you can do anything with. It's a very reliable knot. You can do everything with it. Like I said, you can attach your line to your reel. You could join plural to mono. You could join mono to mono. You could join mono to braid. You could join braid to floral, braid to mono, basically just about everything. You could even tie your hook with it. Uh, it's not that I use um, for all of those applications. I know there are a lot of debates about what is the best knot. You know, some people um, consider the FG knot the best knot. Um, there are other, other different types of knots. The knot I'm going to show you today is a uni knot, and in some cases, the double uni knot. It to me is the simplest, it's the easiest, it's the fastest. Especially when you're out there fishing, um, sometimes the FGs are, can be complicated and one wrong tie and the knot won't be as strong as it should be. So uni knot is definitely not that I go to and I hope after this video you guys will go to it. Okay guys, to start with, I'm going to be using the two tickets pieces of line I can get. One is a nylon, one is actually a shoelace. I'm using the tickets pieces so you guys can get um, the best view of it. This is just the basic knot to tie. Uh, let's say it's a braid to mono, braid to leader, uh, mono to mono. This is just the basic steps of tying knot. So to start with, you bring two lines together just like this. Right? Then you take this hand, your left hand, you grab the middle of the knot. And for one side, this is the tag end, let's say this is the braid line, you're taking the braid, this tag end, you're coming around just like that, forming a circle, and you're holding it with the, with the same hand that's holding the middle. So let's do that again, it's like this, you come around, you just grab it just like that. From here, the next step, you'll be holding it like this, you come around with the tag end, and you're going up around both lines one two three four five if you wish but four should be fine and you pull that together and you hold it there now you don't lock it together just yet you just bring it the tight now the other side you do the same thing you hold the middle you bring the line the tag in back to the middle and you make a loop from the loop you go one two three, four, and you go five. I recommend five to be safe. And you pull that together as well. Now with the thickness of these two, it's not that easy to pull together, but with line is a lot easier. Now you have this set up right here. Once you have this going, then you should moisten the line. If you're fishing, just dip it in your water. If you're at home, just take a cup of water and moisten the whole line. Because any nuts that you're pulling, it should always be a, a moist. So now that you have these two, you pull these two ends here, and the knots will come together just like this you pull the two ends the tag ends just to straighten it out and then to finally tighten it you pull back this these two you grab all four and you just give it a good pull now that there is a knot that's not going to come off leader to leader leader to mono braid to mono leader braid to floral leader braid to braid mono to mono those two lines are not going to be loose so simply from here, you take your scissors, you cut up the tag ends, one, two, as close as possible, and that's the basic double uni knot. Very easy, very simple. Okay guys, I'm just gonna go through that again with a more practical. Um, we have braid here, this is 30 pound braid, and we have some mono. Assume this is your leader. No, I won't use green leader, I wouldn't recommend a green leader. This is 50 pound mono. So I'm gonna go through the knot again uh, with these two and just show you guys again. So to start with, you bring two lines together, just like that. I'd say maybe a 12 inch stretch would be good. Then you let go of one hand, you grab the middle. Now for the, I'm using the braid, doing the braid first. So from the middle, you're gonna go to the, grip the middle just as before, you form the circle, and you're gonna go around both lines, over the top, then under, over the top, then under, and we're going to go five times. Five times is my recommendations. You can go more, 
but not less and you just pull it together you hold it there now the same thing come from this side you make the circle there you have your circle and you go around one two three four five and you pull it together in the green it's quite visible to see and then there you have it two knots on the both sides you pull them together by pulling these two and now you should moisten the line definitely so I'll just do that with some water all right so now you pull it you pull the tag ends just to make sure everything is is copacetic with those pull the tag ends then finally you close up the knot by pulling the two ends and then pulling these two all four together and there you have it that's how the knot should look so then you take your scissors or whatever you have cut as close as possible so you want to leave a very slow profile you can cut as close as possible because this knot is not going to be loose so you know you cut it braid is a little bit more difficult to cut Yeah, you have it you finish not so like I said this is braid to leader this is braid to mono you could do braid to plural good braid to braid good mono to mono for everything this line this knot will work to join okay guys the next time I'm going to show you is how to use a uni knot to attach your hook to your line uh, it's a pretty simple I'm just going to use this swivel it's a big eye just to show you how to do it yeah, the ones we're doing for were double uni knots, meaning uni knot on both sides. Obviously, for the hook is just one uni knot you're going to use. So let's let me show you how you do it. You put the line through the eye of the hook, and then you come just like this. You hold it just like you did before. You're going to grip right here and come back and make the circle, the circle just like that. When you go through again I'd recommend five times two three four make sure you go through both five and you pull the knot less like this again you should moisten the knot again you should moisten the knot you pull the end you bring it straight down to your hook and as you pull it it's going to tighten make sure it's moistened just like that and you lock it in take a look at that that is not going to come off Take your scissors, nail clipper, whatever it is, and you cut off the end. So there you have it. Uni knot to the hook. Okay, guys, this last thing I'm going to show you with the uni knot is how to attach your line to your reel. I'm going to use this as your reel. It's basically the same thing, you know, top, bottom, and it's the space in between. All right, so simply do it. You grab your line, you go around the reel, you come and you make your two sections just like we did with all the others as you can see you pinch it down you come around make the circle just as we did before and we go around five times one two three four five you pull it tight just like that now as you pull it tight here you take a scissors and you cut out this tag in as close as possible from there you pull down the knot and just like that it's on your reel it's not going to come out simple as that okay guys so i hope you understood the knot it's a pretty simple knot again that's why it's my favorite knot because of how simple and easy it is to tie you can tie it quickly you can tie it without making mistakes and like i said a lot of people have their own opinions what is the best knot their favorite knots this is my favorite knot. Um, again, you can try it out for yourself, see how the results. This knot has never failed me. Any, I've never lost a fish because of the knot. Uh, and like I said, you can use it for everything. Line to line, line to leader, braid to leader, tiny line onto your, your reel, and also tying your hook onto your line. Uni knot is definitely a universal all-in-one knot. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. I plan on doing a lot more fish in school videos. Let me know what you guys would like to see. I really appreciate your support as always. And I definitely 
to try to make keep on making videos that you guys want to watch. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. Fish on.